All right, you guys, uh, this lesson is properties on logarithms. This is our application section. So they look kind of scary, but they're not. We're going to use uh, our properties of logarithms to help simplify this. Okay, so here's the first one. So an orchestra plays a piece of music in which its volume increases from one measure to the next, tripling the sound's intensity. So we're going to use um, uh, L sub I, which is going to be our... our our loudness function, our L sub I equals 10 times the log of, don't let this scare you, it says I over I sub zero, where I is the, the sound's intensity in watts per square meter, and this I sub zero is the intensity of a barely audible sound, okay, and so L sub I is the loudness in decibels. You guys have heard of decibels before, I think. So find how many decibels of loudness the sound increases between the two measures, okay? So remember, it says right here, it's tripling in the sound's intensity. So we'll let I be the intensity of the first measure. So three times I would be the second measure because it's tripling, okay? And so how much did it increase? Well, that's just going to be a subtraction of those two. So we're going to do... Uh, L sub 3i minus L sub i, okay, and then so we just plug that into our formula there. Don't let that scare you, because um, it does look kind of overwhelming at first, but it does, uh, you'll see when we use our properties of logarithms, um, some things cancel out right here. Okay, so these both have a 10 right here. If I factor out the 10, we have that, and then we're going to use our our logarithmic property of products right here, 3 times uh this 3 times this function right here, i over i sub 0, we're going to separate that with a plus sign. Let me put that up there. Okay, so here we go. We're going to separate that. We just pulled out because this says 3 times this function, i over i sub 0. Okay, so we're going to separate it when it's a multiply. That's what this property says down here. When we're multiplying of a log, we can separate them up into single logs with a plus sign in between them. So that's all I did right there. Now check this out. This and this, they cancel each other out. So you're left with 10 log of 3, and you get about 4.77. Okay, so let's answer that question. So the loudness of sound will increase by about 4.77 decibels. All right? Okay, let's try this. <clears throat> the population of the U.S. adults in 2012 was 313.9 million. If the population increases exponentially at an average rate of 1% each year, for how long will it take the population to double? Okay, so uh, our exponential growth, we've used this before, you guys, over and over with exponential growth. So this is um, the, the beginning, this is the end, this is our rate, and this is our time in, in years, okay? So um, uh, we started with uh, the 313 point or 313.9 and so when you double it we get that right there because it says it doubles so our ending is going to be twice as much and we're going to solve for t okay let's divide both sides by this right here and when we divide you get 2 equals equals uh, 1 times that or just 2 equals that now if it said triple it doesn't matter what the numbers are when you say triple or double it's just going to be the, the 2 times it or 3 times that so we could have done that on the last one also all right now here we have an exponent with a variable, so to get that uh, exponent down, we log both sides. I'm going to log base 10 of both sides, because that's what our calculators le uh, let us handle. Okay, so the log of 2 equals the log of this, and remember, now when you have a log with an exponent, this exponent goes whoo, right down in front right there, okay? All right, so we have that, and now we can divide both sides by that log of 1.01, so now we're in calculator-ready form. So the time is going to be the log of 2 divided by the log of 1.01. Let me put that over here. When you punch that in your calculator, now this is rounded quite early, and we discovered this in class today. This is their book's answer, and they get this right here. Okay, so it's about 75 years. From 2012, the population is going to double, so that would be up at 2087. Now, if you carry those decimals out in your calculator a little bit more, you'll find out it doesn't get us 75.25. It gets us almost 70 years, making it to 2082. This is the more accurate answer right here. Your book kind of rounded a little bit early. I'm surprised. But as you know, our books make lots of errors, we've discovered. So here we are. So a bank account earns 6% of annual interest compounded annually. The balance B of the account after T years can be modeled by this, okay, where this is the starting money, this is the ending money. This is... Um, 
the 1 plus 6 percent, so the 1 plus R, okay, 1.06, 100 percent plus the 6 percent. Okay, so obviously we're going to do some logging on this, so if the account starts with the balance of 250, how long will it take to triple the balance? Well, if it triples, it's going to be three times as much, okay? So you can have any number right here. You're always going to end up with this function right here, or this one right here. Okay, so let's log base 10 of both sides. So if we log base 10 of both sides, we get that, and it brings down that exponent. Then divide by log of 1.06, okay? And then now we're calculator ready. So punch those in your calculator, and you should get about... 18.85 then answer the question so the the account's going to triple in about 18.85 years all right no matter how much money you put in all right if you're in my class i'm going to assign that for your homework and i will do those for you because i think they're pretty cool let's do those so we did this in class today so uh, seismologist used the richter scale to express the energy or magnitude of an earthquake the richter Magnitude of an earthquake, M, is related to the energy released in ergs. I've never heard of ergs before until this lesson. Uh, ergs are E, shown by this formula over here. So M equals two-thirds log. Okay, this is base 10 because there's no base there, so it's base 10. Log of E over 10 to the 11.8 power. So in 1964, an earthquake centered at Prince William Sound, Alaska, registered a magnitude of 9.2 on the Richter scale. That's a huge earthquake. Find the energy release. So we're going to solve for this E right here. So let's go ahead and plug in the magnitude of 9.2 right there. <clears throat> okay. Now to get rid of this two-thirds, I'm going to multiply both sides by three halves. So 9.2 times 3 over 2 gives me 13.8. Okay. And then we're going to use our logarithm. When we have a division, we can separate it into separate logs as the log of this minus the log of this. So I'm just using our, our properties there. Okay, now this is base 10. Let me slide that up so we're getting kind of low right there. This is base 10. So remember, if it's base 10, if these numbers match up, it's just that exponent right there, 11.8. Okay, so here's log of E. Now add 11.8 over there, you get uh, 25.6. Okay, now this is base 10. So this base 10 to this power equals E. Okay, and when you do that, now, if you punched in 10 to the 25.6 power, that's a huge number. So big, your calculator has a hard time recognizing it. So, what I'm going to do is remind you, uh, when we multiply uh, x squared times x cubed, we just add those exponents. Okay? So, um, uh, this 10 to the 25.6 is 10 to the 25 times 10 to the 6.6. Because if I added those exponents we would get this, okay? So I'm going to put this in scientific notation, and then this, our calculator will hold this number, so punch in 10 to the 0.6, and so we're going to get uh, 3.98, so this is going to be 3.98 times 10 to the 25th, okay? So the energy released by an earthquake with a magnitude of 9.2, um, is 3.98 times 10 to the 25th ergs. Oh boy. All right, let's try one more here, you guys. This is uh, number 10. So the difference between the apparent magnitude brightness M of a star and its absolute magnitude M, capital M, is given by this formula. So M minus big M equals 5 log of D over 10. This is base 10 because there's no base there. Where D is the distance of the star from the Earth measured in parsecs. Find the distance D of the star Rho Ope, I don't know, I guess that's how you sprout, uh, pronounce it, from Earth, where Rho Ope has an apparent magnitude, a magnitude, so that would be the small m right here. Apparent magnitude of 5.0 and an absolute magnitude, which is the big M, of negative 0.4. So let's plug those in. So 5 minus a negative 0.4 becomes 5 plus 0.4, which is 5.4. Okay, now we're going to divide both sides by this 5 right here. So 5.4 divided by 5 gets us 1.08. And then over here, I separated these with the minus sign. Okay, again, this is base 10. So this, if these numbers match up, it equals this exponent. Well, if there's no exponent there, it's understood to be a 1. So that equals 1. So add 1 to both sides. And then now we're going to go this base, which is 10 to this power, equals D. Okay, let's slide that up. Right up there, so 10 to the 2.08 equals D, so we get about 120.2. Okay, so that means um, it's going to be about, uh, rho op is going to be about 120.2 parsecs 
from our planet Earth. All right, take care.